that's the keel, B is the center of buoyancy, and G is the center of gravity. Uh, when the boat heels over, B moves to the side. Um, the force through B works upwards, the force through G works downwards. And the intersection between the vertical line up through B, the central buoyancy, and the center line of the vessel. Um, this intersection is called the metacenter, abbreviated M. Uh, between B and M, at the same vertical level as the center of gravity, vertical center of gravity, we find a point which is abbreviated Z. There's no name, it's just called Z. The distance GM is a measure of a ship's stability, which is particularly relevant at small angles of heel, and it says something about the vessel's resistance to heel from an upright position. Um, the distance G set, which is known as the writing arm, uh, measures stability and is a measure of ship stability at greater angles of heel. And we will return to this one in a little while. The distance km uh, from the keel up to the metacenter varies with the draft of the vessel and is found in the stability data, which we'll uh, try to do later. And the distance km the, uh, equals the distance from k to g uh, plus the distance g to m. And, uh, this always apply. Km equals kg plus gm. Now if you have a large gm, this means that the vessel has greater resistance to healing torque uh, from an upright position than if gm is smaller. So large gm, large resistance to healing torques. Positive stability means that g uh, is below M. And if this is the case, a writing torque will arise when the boat is heeled over, quite simply. Um, we see the forces, there's a writing torque that uh, tries to uh, right in the, return the boat to the upright position. If GM is large, then the writing torque will be uh, also be large causing the vessel to return uh, to the upright position. Neutral stability or indifferent stability means that G and M are at the same height. Uh, if the vessel is then heeled over, we see that um, G and B, the forces through them, they work in the same point and thus when there's no arm, there is uh, correspondingly no torque. There's no writing torque uh, to, that will attempt to return the vessel to its upright position. This doesn't uh, necessarily mean that the vessel will capsize, but there is no torque that will try to um, return it to the upright position, and it will not resist healing from the upright position. Negative stability, on the other hand, means that the center of gravity is above the, center, the meta center. Then the healing torque will always be greater than the writing torque, and the boat will, in most uh, cases, capsize. We see that G moves more to the side than B when the vessel moves over. So this is something that you want to avoid at all costs. Uh, if you want to try what it feels like, uh, get out in a canoe and stand up. Then you have negative stability. So in this case here, we see that the torque continues to heal the boat over, which is something that we really don't want to do.